Lesson five, command respect. Now, what I want to do in the 100 points, this 100 tenets of business is I don't want to talk too much about the fluffy bullshit that all the other millionaires talk about and teach because what they're really doing is copping out. So it's very easy for Ty Lopez, who has no real business skill. Ty Lopez doesn't know anything about business. To say, you get rich by reading books because it sounds easy. Then everyone goes, oh, really? Okay, I'll read books. It sounds easy, but it's not true. And think positive, you'll get rich. That's not true either. But some things are true. And number five, this is true. Command respect. This is true. So I'll give you an example. We're going to go back to Dan, the T2 guy. So I still talk to Dan sometimes now. And he's a good guy. He's got a good heart, but he just loves drugs. Some people do. One of the reasons I'm good at business is because I command respect. And I command respect because I'm a physical specimen of a man. This is the reality. I'm a, I'm a professional fighter. So this helps me, whether I'm running my webcam girls or whether I was pitching television advertising. There's a level of respect humans have for other humans who are a physical specimen. Dan is a big black guy. The way Dan sold and act, acted and treated staff, he could get away with that he couldn't get away if he was an obese white guy. Because there's something evolutionary about humans. And if you're a person who's viewed as strong, people respect you and people trust you. If you want to run a business and you want people to spend money with you, the one of the best things you can do is go to the gym. Tell you the truth. Get in fucking physical shape and people will see, okay, well, he's obviously not afraid of hard work. He's obviously disciplined. There's some things that are spoken without being spoken. There's a word for it that will come to me. And having a physical presence is one of them. It helps in business every possible way. If I stand up, when I used to stand up to sell TV advertising in front of people and say, I guarantee you, you spend 19,000 with me. I guarantee you, you spend 19,000 with me, you get double back. When they see your product on TV, a product like this, it's gonna sell. Do you sell online? Yeah, where else do you sell? Tesco, Sainsbury's. Oh, you're in the superstores as well. You are gonna make twice your money back, guaranteed. If I say that as a big, strong guy who they could tell, obviously trained really hard, was disciplined, was, was not afraid of hard work, that was more valuable than if I was a fat piece of shit. It's going to work. I'm like, well, what the fuck do you know? You just eat pizza. You don't know anything. Go to the gym. Command a physical presence. I'm not saying you have to beat anyone up. I'm saying if you command a physical presence, your words have more weight and it helps in business across all things. Everything. I know webcam girls is a very unusual business and none of you have probably run webcam girls, but I learned a whole bunch about business running my webcam girls. In fact, I approached my webcam girl business the same as I approached every other business with the same tenants. I started it for cheap with a laptop I already had and a girlfriend I already had. I found out how to get the money in before I found out how to produce the videos. I had people spe sending me money for these feature length porn videos and I couldn't even produce them. I didn't even have a fucking camera. Money first. I, all my same things. Speed quickly, get everything produced quick, quick, quick. I did all the same things with all my businesses. But the reason I can have so many girls listen to me is because I'm me. And I'm me because I'm big and strong. I'm Andrew Tate. So if you want to run your business, do not neglect physical presence. Now you can be successful without physical presence. There's a whole bunch of dorks who are successful. But I'm talking about what I know about business and what I've learned. This is the Hustlers University. And what I'm saying is it will help you. Even if you're Bill Gates and he was super successful and he's a dork, he would have been more successful if he was a big, strong dude. It's never going to detriment you to be bigger and stronger in life, and whether it's in business and every other aspect of life. Being bigger and stronger and commanding physical presence will always help you. It shows discipline. It shows that you understand hard work and it makes your word more valuable. And sometimes in business, all you've really got is your word. You have to promise people shit and they have to believe you. So if you do that as a big, strong dude, people just believe you more. This is just a harsh reality. This is the Hustlers University. I told you it's no nonsense, it's no garbage. If you wanna run a company, start going to the gym, get big, get strong. It's gonna help you make money. Sooner or later, I guarantee you, it's gonna help you make money. This is point five, don't neglect it, because it's very, very true. Even if it only helps you 10%, 10% is a lot. 10% is the business, 10% is the difference between success and failure. 10% is the difference between a little bit of money and a lot of money. 10% is, is a huge difference. If you're, if you're selling, let's say you're selling a million dollars a product and you got a 20% margin, that's 200K. If you had an extra 10% margin because you're the big strong guy and you got 300K, bang, that's an extra 100 grand a year. That's a fucking 911. That's a Porsche. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. So do not neglect number five because it's real. Check the guns. 
Would you, and here, let me prove the point. Would you have bought this course? You bought this course because I'm Andrew Tate. You trust me. You've obviously looked at me and you go, you know what, I have something about this guy. He knows something, I trust him. Would you have still bought this course if I was morbidly obese? Genuine question. I know it's an extreme, but it's a question. If I was morbidly obese in my chair, very, very fat, I'm going to teach you about business. Would you have bought the course? Or would you have thought, fuck you, fat, fuck you, and then nothing? And if you're honest with yourself, you think, yeah, you're probably right. I wouldn't have bought from you if you were obese. So that's the extremes. I'm a professional fighter, obese. These are extremes. But the extremes prove the point. The closer you are to in good physical condition, the more likely you are to be respected, and the more likely you are to be able to say things and people believe you. So get in physical shape. That's point five. Commanding respect is always, always going to be able to help you throughout life especially in business. Point six, resell the people you've already sold to. It's the easiest money you'll ever make. So in T2 television, when we, cause obviously we knew we weren't making money. When shit was getting hard, what we do is we were selling these 18, 19 grand deals. And one of the reasons we survived so long is we'd get people to sign up, pay 18, 19 grand, make their advert, show them their advert, Hope they loved it. And if they love their advert, then we try and sell a bonus airtime package. We come at them and say, by the way, we've got a really big purchase coming up for McDonald's. Some bullshit. And we're getting airtime extremely cheap. And for only an extra five grand, we can get you an extra hundred spots on TV. Some garbage, some bullshit. And try and sell them this extra package. And this package had some profit in it for us. The spots we'd give them would be in the middle of the night, cheap, bullshit. And this was our only chance to make any profit. So if they said no to this, we did all the work for effectively nothing. If they said yes, we'd make, we'd sell it for five and it was like four grand profit. That's how we were surviving. So if we tried to put that in at the front end and sell 24, 25 grand packages, we couldn't sell it. But if we sold them at 19 and then tried to upsell them later, we had about 60, 70% upsell rate if people liked their advert. So the easiest money you'll ever make is selling to people who have already bought from you before, as long as you relatively fulfilled your deal. So we, we did it after the advert. We didn't, we never tried to sell it to them before they saw the advert because then it was much harder to sell. So if you do a good job or a half good job, the best customers you're going to have, have are people who have already bought from you before. You should already know this about business. This is a very easy one, but it is so much easier to sell to someone who's already bought from you than it is to sell to someone new. A lot of you watching this may have already bought something from me before. Congratulations. You must know a lot of shit, but it's very, very important. It's very, very true. So. I get a lot, I know a lot of people with a lot of different businesses and they all call me up for advice. And one of the first things I had a guy call me up about two months ago and he was saying he was struggling for cash. He asked me to borrow money. And I said, I won't say who he is or what his business is because you'll know, some of you will know. So to protect him, I was like, well, okay, how much do you need? He's like 200 grand. So how many customers do you have? He goes, oh, all in all? Like, yeah, all in all. How many customers are on your database? He goes, oh, about 10,000. Like, bro, there's your 200 grand. Put together a fucking email campaign. Do a huge discount. Don't let, you don't have to let it leak out into the public. Let them pay full price. These people have bought from you before. Put it all together, pow, and blast it out. There's your 200 grand. What do you, what do you need me for? These people have bought from you before and you delivered. There's your money. Your money's sitting right there. Go get it. So easy to sell to people who have already bought from you before if you did a half good job. In, in business, you don't need to sell to tons of people if you can sell to the same people over and over again. And it's much easier to sell to the same people over and over again than it is to keep finding new people. Keep that in mind, especially during times where you need cash or you're trying to raise cash or you want to increase cash flow. The first thing you should do if you have a company and you're making a bit of money, making a little bit of money and you go, you know, what? I want to make some more. What can I do? Don't look at advertising more. Don't look at getting new customers. Don't look at a new product launch. The first thing you should do is go, is there anything I've already got that I can resell to people who have already bought from me? And that is the easiest money you're ever going to make. Don't forget that because you'll need that at certain points in your business career. You're going to need to be able to pull that ace out your sleeve and generate money from thin air. So keep in mind, that's point six. 